Times Square, and Grand Central. Two of New York City's most busiest stations are connected by an underground shuttle line and the 7 train. Long has there been a debate on which line was faster at getting you across town. Today we're going to find out the answer to that question. Before we get into the video, I'm going to ask all of you to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and consider supporting the channel via my channel memberships or super thanks if you would like to see more content like this. Now the question of which is faster is not a simple one to answer. There's a lot which factors into it. Where are you coming from, where are you going to, and how long it takes you to get on the train. Before we even get into the analysis, I'm just going to say this. If you are at Times Square and you are transferring from the 1, 2, 3, N, Q, R, or W lines, take the shuttle. If you're coming from the A, C, or E line, take the 7 train. I say this because the 7th Avenue and Broadway lines are positioned close to the shuttle, while the 8th Avenue line is positioned closer to the 7 train. Now the real question is, which is faster coming from Grand Central? I've timed both lines, including the time it takes just to walk to the line. Let's start with the 7. We start at the main fare control area and make our way down to the Lexington Avenue line platforms. Next, we walk downstairs to the flushing line. As you can see, we've just missed the train, which is actually a good thing in this instance. Let's be honest here, there's not always going to be a train in or approaching the station when you get there, so we'll be counting the amount of time we're waiting at the station for the train. The countdown clock said 4 minutes when we got down to the platform, so let's just enjoy some of these R142As, I mean R188s, for the time being. Oh look, it's the pilot set R142A. Now we take the two stop trip to Times Square. And here we are at Times Square, having arrived in 9 minutes and 45 seconds. Now it's time to test out the shuttle. Starting from the same location, we walk west instead of southeast towards the Lexington line. Here we are at the shuttle platforms. There's currently a train here on track 4, but I'm taking the train on track 1. Again, the train may not always be there when you arrive at the platform. Luckily, the train on track 1 is pulling in, so it won't take too long to get moving. A benefit of opting to take the shuttle instead of the 7 train is the fact that it isn't as crowded as the 7. You actually have a chance of getting a seat. Now I recorded this at around 10am on a weekday, but if I were to record this during rush hour, well, all you would see is people. Anyway, let's take a seat. These trains have less seats than those found on other lines. This was done to increase capacity. By removing seats, you add more standing room. And let's be honest here, when you're taking the train a single stop, you don't really need a seat. Anyway, our train has started moving, so we should be at Times Square in under a minute. And here we go. The shuttle took 9 minutes and 26 seconds to go from Grand Central to Times Square, which means the 42nd Street shuttle is the faster way to get cross town on 42nd Street. Not only is it the faster way to get cross town, but it's also less crowded than the 7, so you have more room to breathe on the 42nd Street shuttle. Thanks for watching this video. 
I know it's not usual for me to create a video like this, but I thought it would be a cool idea, plus it did win the poll for the next video. If you enjoyed and you would like to see more content like this, like, subscribe, and consider supporting me via channel memberships, or super thanks. Special thanks to Stuart Guberman for supporting me at the 2 Broadway tier and the West Farms Fomer for supporting me at the Train Operator tier.